Hey guys, today I am continuing my series on the Minor Arcana and teaching it in a way that you'll be able to understand in a really uh, quick, simple, and easy way. So today we're gonna cover the suit of cups. Now, before we get into it, the key to remembering the Minor Arcana and the Major Arcana is to remember that each suit and each section of tarot cards is telling a story. And so I'm going to be telling this suit in a story so that you can easily understand it. And remembering the Minor Arcana as a story is super important because when you're reading the cards for yourself or for another person, you're going to get a snapshot of what is going on in their life story or or your own life story. So you'll need to understand what part of the story um, those tarot cards are talking about and be able to use your intuitive senses because you're going to have to portray a story in a way that that person understands or in a way that you can understand what the cards are really trying to tell you and what spirit is trying to tell you. And spirit does talk to you through your intuitive senses and your imagination when you're feeling super relaxed. All right, the suit of cups. Oh my goodness, I love this suit so much. Um, it's just got such a beautiful energy to it. Um, so right here we have the Ace of Cups and the Aces always represent the uh, energy of the entire suit of or elements of... Um, of this suit blah, 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 blah. all right so the suit of cups represent water and water represents feelings emotions desires the subconscious and fortune so the ace of cups again represents the power and the energy of the whole suit of cups and in the ace of cups this is the pure raw energy of i've got a feeling about something or someone so like this is where you just, you know, you see somebody and you just, you just have this feeling about this, this overpowering, loving energy for them. Um, usually like it is represented this like pure, raw emotion in the Ace of Cups. So in the Ace of Cups, let's say like this is when I met my husband and I actually had a strong feeling of I don't like this guy, but it was a powerful energy, a powerful emotion and, and that eventually that turned into love. So that's like that power you meet somebody and you just feel something right away or you see something, right? Like maybe you're looking for a house and you just have a feeling about it. Whatever it is, it's this like strong emotion, like you almost know you're fated um, to be like moving towards it. All right, and then we have the two of cups where you're feeling good and this cup can rep be represented by I'm in love. This card represents love between you two people and companionship. So this it could represent the time where I realized like my husband was the love of my life and I fell in love with him and I just felt so connected and so intertwined with him um, as we began our romance. So the two of cups could be represent um, a romance brewing or it can represent feeling in love with somebody. Okay, next we have the three of cups and it's like, I feel like celebrating. I just feel so good and I'm gonna get together with my friends and talk about my new love interest, my partner, my new boyfriend, girlfriend, um, whoever it is, um, or like I just bought a new house. But this is the point where you feel like celebrating um, and this is different than the wands it's like you feel like getting together and connecting emotionally with a group of friends um, so this could represent I'm going to the coffee house um, with my two best friends and I'm going to tell them all about the date I just went on with my husband and I'm feeling so connected and so supported um, and part of a community because the thing is like I'm not just connected to one person but I'm connected to a group of people um, fr and friends that support me. So, so the three of cups represents feeling loved and just feeling like, you know, when, when you do have these friends in this group and this energy of people supporting you, you feel like it is part of just heaven. Like you see the heavens up here and it's part of like this just bigger, um, bigger plan like there's something to it where you just feel like you're just at one with the universe and everything is going well in the three of cups because you have people around you 
supporting you and you feel accepted. All right, but then we have the Four of Cups and this is like, I thought I'd be happier when I got what I wanted, right? You have everything you want. All right, in this cup, right, I'm going through my story. I have everyone I want, everything I want. I fell in love. Um, I have some friends supporting me. I'm in a good place in life and I'm just like, huh, it's okay. I'm just not feeling the gratitude for it. I'm not, I, I'm just feeling like very jaded, like, yeah, it's okay, but I want more because the thing about cups, that the cups energy, if you watch the wands video, um, if you haven't, I have a video on the suit of wands. Um, I'll link it down in the description below. But the four of cups is also never satisfied when we're getting into emotions, whether it's passion or more of the emotional energy. Um, so, so fire is very outward emotions and energy and bringing these like passions and um, desires and creativity into the world and emotions is more of an inward energy it's all of these emotions that you feel inwardly that you don't necessarily express to others but you like we saw in the three of cups you can express that um, so in the four of cups it's it's like well you like you've again you've gotten everything you want but you thought you'd be happier and you really don't feel happy and you're not seeing um, you're not seeing like how your cups are full you're like this is it and you're like i want something more because um what i was trying to get to is with cups you never feel satisfied either no matter how happy you are no matter how much you receive and how many good things you receive there's this thing about us as human beings where we just always want more and we feel this void of like it's not enough even when look we have this gift right here of something more um but we're not looking at it so it's like i have everything i want um, you know, I have the love of my life, but now I'm thinking about, oh, like this really sucks. I want to get married. And when am I going to get married? And when am I going to have children? And I'm looking at all of the things that I don't have. And I'm looking at all these empty cups instead of like, hello, I've got the love of my life with me. Why don't I just enjoy it? All right. Then we have the five of cups and I'm feeling super jaded and heartbroken, heartbroken. And I'm feeling like life has no meaning and I'm feeling heartbroken. Just everything has lost its meaning. Um, like again, we saw in the four of cups, I'm just not feeling grateful and it just gets worse from there. Cause then I look at everything wrong, you know, so I'm looking at my husband and it's like, well, he's partying too much or he didn't buy me flowers or he didn't tell me he loved me or he's hiding something that he didn't know about. And I'm starting to get his true colors. Um, or maybe he dissed me and didn't go out with me. This is like the heartbreak card where you're feeling so devastated. Um, so this could represent, you know, there were times where I was separated from my husband. If you see my twin flame videos, I talk a little bit about that. Um, but I, where I was separated with him from him, um, where I didn't appreciate him, I wasn't feeling grateful for what we had together. And I broke up with him and I lost the love of my life and I was feeling really devastated. And so that's what this, card represents um and it represents you do have things but it's like this letting go you're like throwing these cups out because you're not feeling grateful and you're feeling truly devastated and and cannot see the silver lining and then we have the six of cups and this cup is all about wishing for the past when you felt happy like wishing like things were as simple as when you were a kid why can't things be simple about when i was younger um and just wishing for the past and you're feeling this card represents you're feeling happy and nurtured by those memories um you're remembering the past and how great things were but and you're feeling nostalgic for it but in this card we have to be careful because um, you're not remembering like how bad things were in the past or the pain that you had then or that you weren't really grateful for what you had then. So it's like, just be grateful for what you have now because you have a lot now. Look, this guy still has his dog here um, and is having these like happy memories. And so this card could represent when I'm thinking about, you know, when I've, I, I had broken up with my husband and I'm thinking about the past and I'm just wishing for the past um, when we were having fun and I'm, I'm wishing for the past. I'm getting this like two of cups. I'm wishing for this two of cups energy in the past. And when I was like feeling so excited to tell all my friends about it. Um, and I'm thinking about all the happy memories um, and just wishing I had that again, wishing I was in love again. I'm wishing I had that. And that was like um, the energy before I reunited with my husband and, and did get married with him and did get back together. You know, I was wishing for the past, but a problem again with the six of cups, it's like, 
this happiness, um, remembering the good times and having nostalgia, like wishing those good times were now. But the problem is when I got back together with my husband, I still wasn't appreciating the good times that we were having at the moment. I was still romanticizing the past and trying to almost like recreate that picture of the past instead of seeing the person he was now and the person I am now and really feeling grateful, um, seeing all I had in the moment. So it's like, be wary of wishing for the past. Um, and also the cups does represent memory. When we think of water, it's, it's remembering things, having a really long memory. Okay, and then we have the seven of cups and this is all about lust and desire filling up your cups with lust and desire to feel better. And you're just, look at this guy, all of his cups are turned over because he has drank from his cups. And these are all of our vices, all of our desires. So it could represent, you know, sex, love, drinking, partying, um, like flirtation, all of these things. And it's like, well, what am I gonna do now? You kind of almost, um, you almost like burn yourself up with your desire or you, or, or I should say now you're empty. Um, and it's kind of like how, you know, like, you know, I'm going to give one example. There's many examples. But in this part of the story, like with my husband, we're like we're having all of these good times. Um, we're going on dates like every Friday, Saturday, Saturday night, and we're trying to figure out what to do. And it, this one's so simple, right? But it's like, well, we've done all the things we can do. We've gone to every restaurant. We've seen every movie. Um, we've had sex like a million times. Like, what are we going to do now? And it's almost this boredom and you're back to like, you're kind of back to this like four of cups energy where you're just feeling like, eh, like what now? And it's it's just like also this card represents like throwing yourself perhaps in another relationship or being promiscuous or going out and drinking too much um, to throw yourself to forget about the past. So like um, going back to the story, like if I'm if say I'm at the part of my story where I had broken up with my husband um, and I'm trying to forget about him, I'm throwing myself into other relations, other other people um going out with friends drinking too much like that uh, that type of energy to try to forget about him this is all about escapism in the seven of cups okay in the eight of cups this is almost like um all of the things that you do to fill your cup mean nothing so success means nothing getting what you want getting your lust and desires fulfilled mean nothing um, and you're turning away from that lust and desire the ways that you're filling your cup you're turning away from that remember in the seven of cups we were like kind of burning ourselves up with desire and you see this cup on fire and then the eight of cups um, you're getting out of all of these emotions um, and kind of getting out of that like self-destruct like destroying yourself with emotions and turning away from it and moving towards the light so this is like leaving things that are self-destructive. So this is the point where it's like, for me, like I think I, I went to therapy, you know, and, and talked about um, how I was feeling with my husband and the devastation and the heartbreak. So um, of things. So this is like uh, at different points in the story when I had broken up with him. This is also when I had gotten back together with him um, and I was working issues out and I had to get away from these, like from wallowing in my emotions and like moving away for, from it so that I could bring in healthy emotions. And these healthy emotions come through big time in the nine of cups because the nine of cups is called the wish card. This is when your wish comes true and you're satisfied. You're able to feel grateful for all of the things you have, all of the emotions, the good and the bad. And you realize that you have everything you want right there. And it's like feeling satisfied and feeling grateful for the things that you have and just everything is going your way and you're feeling amazing. So this is the point, this is like the happy ending. When I'm with my husband, we've worked through our issues um, and we're at this beautiful place where we're super back super in love and I have my happy ending of marrying him, have a, having, well actually that comes in the next card, but I'm feeling grateful and I'm feeling like no matter what happens in my relationships, I have all of this love that I seek. My cup is always filled up from the universe. Um, and I always like emotions come and go, but they're all good and having love and appreciation for everything that comes up. And then, like I said, with the 10 of cups, this is true joy. This is the happy ending. This is you have the family, home, relationship, financial success that you want. So this is like, I'm married to my husband now, which I am, and I have children with him. And we have this happy ending. We have this love because I've worked through all of the emotions that came 
with falling in love with having that that initial spark of love and that initial relationship right um so the 10 is the completion of what you felt in the ace of cups you know the ace of cups it's like you i felt something for my husband and eventually that turned into love not right away but you know eventually that turned into love and wanting that happy ending that kid kids and stuff but i wasn't able to hold that um, and hold that space of gratitude and love and keep my heart open to him. But now I am, and now I truly can say, like, this is a true story. Um, you know, I have that happy ending where just everything is going well. My wish has come true. I value all the colors of all of the different emotions that I have and different experiences. And I appreciate what I have now and the life and the family that I've built. All right, and next we have the Page of Cups, and that's getting into the court cards. And in the Page of Cups, um, or in the, I'm sorry, in the court cards, we're rep they, they represent the people that we meet that hold the energy of the cups. So people who are super emotional, um, super romantic, um, in touch with their feelings, people who dive into their desires, um, are just driven by their subconscious, um, all of those things. In the Page of Cups, it's this like revitalized imagination, feeling super dreamy. This card represents the dreamer. And the pages represent the feminine energy of the suit. So in the Page of Cups, it's like this feminine energy receiving, um, just being a person who is a dreamer and takes time to daydream um, and just take in, appreciate all the beautiful things in the world and what can happen. So this card also represents art and the artist and um and thinking about love, right? Fantasizing. So someone who's really into all of that energy. Um, and this is like a continuation of the pages revitalize or they take the next step after we've learned the, the all of the cups cards. So the page of cups has the wisdom from all of the cups cards and knows how to appreciate things. So has gotten the dream and knows that um, really having gratitude for what you have, um, really just having gratitude, being in your emotions, and also dreaming big dreams, knowing that the fun is dreaming the dreams and that you have all of that now. And the, the fun is coming, like, is being in touch with your emotions and is feeling all of these emotions um, and really expressing them. That really is an important factor in the cup's energy. Ooh, and then I like this one, the Knight of Cups. And this is the guy, this is the master of romance, seduction. Um, this is this is the seductive ladies man, the Don Juan, the guy who knows how to say everything right and really feel, makes you feel loved and appreciated, who buys you flowers, who looks good, um, who's like doing the romantic picnic on the grass. This is the masculine energy of the cup. So this is the super sensual, um, loving, creative man. And... Um, and he is more like this outgoing energy. So I should say like, um, you know, the Page of Cups, super creative, right? And the Knight of Cups um, is all about like this energy of just sweeping you off your feet and feel making you feel so good emotionally. And next we have the Queen of Cups and she represents the matriarchal energy holding all of the wisdom of the Cups energy. So this is the mystical maiden. And with the Cups, it also represents like getting into your imagination, intuition, which is why I'm even like describing some of of this as a story right because when you're reading you really actually have to get into your imagination too and imagine all the different scenarios that could be happening from these cards um, so she represents a person who is super intuitive so someone who is reading tarot cards or can look at you and know just what's happening kind of like a mother energy of like you know your mother can see you and certain moms and know what's happening like i can know what's up with my kids right away and is super in tune with her emotions and masters her emotions who's super receptive um and just super in tune with them and the flow of life and we have the king of cups who also represents the wisdom and this is more grounded energy of the cups and so this represents a fortunate man a creative intelligence who has all of this creativity and is able to really ground it and create something um with it. So this is like a mystic. This is like a teacher who's super in touch with his emotions, who goes with the flow, but really trusts his emotions and what he's feeling and able to master it and able to connect with other people um, 
to be able to connect deeply with their emotions as well. And so it has this super spiritual guru element. So someone who's a guru, who's a teacher who helps you master, someone who's like a master of meditation or something along those lines. Hey guys, so hope you enjoyed learning about the suit of cups. Um, I will be working on more videos next week. We are going to do the pentacles. So that's the last suit and the last element or the next, it might be a couple of days. I post videos every week, every, it's been every Friday. Friday and Tuesday. So if you want to get a notification for the upcoming videos, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified. Like I said, next I'm coming out with the suit of pentacles, um, and I will be coming out with more videos and going over the symbolism and going into the cards more in detail, but I wanted to teach it in this way so you get to know the cards in a simple, easy way in a story right away. And going along with the cups energy, I encourage you to use your imagination and create your own stories for the cards so that you can remember them. This is just a way to have you remember the energy. And let me know if you have any other questions of anything I didn't cover. Leave that in the comments below. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified for whenever I release a new video every single week.